Welcome to our video tutorial featuring our Service Bureau requirements for the BRIC. We offer all our clients the possibility to switch solutions once they are ready to transition to another solution. The available solutions for the BRIC are our Web EDI portal WebGate Plus, integration into your ERP system, and van services if you decide to go in-house with your EDI. In order for us to process your documents, you will need to provide us with the information required for each of the EDI transactions required by the BRIC. To do so, we provide you with Service Bureau forms that will facilitate the process. You will be receiving your purchase order and purchase order changes by email or fax depending on what you chose during the setup. The required transaction flow is as follow. You will receive a purchase order. You will need to send a purchase order acknowledgement. Shall you receive a purchase order change, you will need to send the purchase order acknowledgement again. You will send an advance ship notice and you will send your invoice. Don't forget that after each purchase order and purchase order change, you must create a purchase order acknowledgement. Please make sure that you send EDI Gateway all your documents 48 hours before they are required at the BRIC. You will be sending all your documents to OPS at edigateway.com using the forms that we are training you on today in this video. Let's look at the first form, which is the Purchase Order Acknowledgement. On the Purchase Order Acknowledgement form, you will first need to enter your company name and then enter the date in the format required. All the fields requested on this form are mandatory and cannot be left blank. Your first reply to a purchase order must be original, even if you are cancelling or changing the transaction. Simply click on the X. Try to indicate the changes in the same order as the purchase order received. If the entire item is accepted, indicate the promised for shipment and estimated delivery with weight and unit of measure of the weight. The unit of measure should apply to all the items. You are either putting in kilos or in pounds. Indicate the buyer's or your vendor SKU, as indicated on the purchase order. Then indicate the weight of this particular item. If you have filled in the weight and the unit of measure of weight in the profile in the beginning of the setup, this information will not be necessary. Then you must choose the appropriate scenario, either A, B, or C. If the item is accepted, please fill in the two fields, Promise for Shipment and Estimated Delivery. If you are accepting with change, please indicate either the new quantity or the new dates and Estimated Delivery Date. If you are deleting the items, you will need to indicate a text reason. For example, this item is now obsolete. There are multiple sections available for you if you have multiple items on your purchase order, but if you need to, you can always copy and paste additional sections. Please note, once your purchase order is received, you must reply with a purchase order acknowledgement in the delay required by your vendor manual. Consider that EDI Gateway requires 48 hours to process transactions in Service Bureau. If we need to stay in overtime to process your document, $25 per document may apply. Here is how to reach us. If you receive documents or error documents from your retailer, please email them at ops at edigateway.com. If you have any questions, please contact our customer service. For sales to upgrade your solution, please email info at edigateway.com. We thank you for choosing EDI Gateway for your EDI with the brick. From all of us at EDI Gateway, thank you for watching.
your next video is how to create your ASN form.